WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently have a sea of green out here. All the U.S. indices, all the sectors with inside the S&P 500, basically nearly everything is trading to the upside. On my screen, the exceptions are the spot ball Tudex, which is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is bullish for the S&P 500. The U.S. dollar index is off 11 pennies, trading out at 101.87 and a 30, and the Japanese yen is off uh, just uh, slightly down. Up 448. That's one and four tenths percent. SP one and six tenths percent, 65 points, two and a half percent for the NDX 100, 307 points, one and seven tenths for the Russell. Semis are up 3.6 percent, 112 points there. Gold's up 31 bucks. Silver's up 38 cents, both a 1.6 percent move to the upside. Lights we could up a buck 69. That's two and a half percent. Natural gas up eight pennies and the 30 treasury is totally flat. Trade out at 130. 31. Let's try to figure out what all this means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the uh, ES mini in the upper left hand side. Yesterday was a confirmed sell the D point pattern. Why? Because it has an A to B equal CD, reached the one to one price projection level, and then created a bearish engulfing candle, a key reversal and a bearish engulfing candle. However, what price has been unable to do, you don't see it on this chart, is bust through support. And support really here, because that is a slightly bearish structured, would be either 39.51 or its oscillator and change line. That's at 39.83 right now. Spot volatilix is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's the area you want to watch. That is at 21.57. Now, yesterday was a hammer candle inside the spot volatility index. If price closes below uh, 19.94, same rules apply. Well, first, that tells you do not be short the S&P 500, even though I can give you like uh, probably three or four good reasons to be short that. But if the spot volatilix closes below low of a hammer candle, it's signaling to you and I that that volatilix wants to continue to head lower out there. If we take Take a look at the NQ. Yesterday was a confirmation of a Rhodesman Dim Indicator top out there. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. However, what Price was unable to do was even get down to the green oscillator and change line. And that says that the signal that is present right now is neutral. It's not bearish. It's not bullish. It's neutral. It's actually, it's actually a little bit more bullish than it would be bearish by being unable to even get down to a key level of support. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it's got an A to B equal CD to the downside. It's waiting for a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom layer. Sorry we didn't get to gold and silver and light tree crude and natural gas and a 30 year treasury, but we can certainly do that during the Trader's Edge show. Folks, if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.